Yo, what is up, guys? Today we're gonna be. Oh my god. Yo, what is up, guys? Today we're gonna be doing a vlog. Oh my god. Yo, what is up, guys? Today we're gonna be doing a vlog, and here's Gigi. We just got done shopping. All the bags are in the back. But uh, yeah, we're gonna run into. Uh, Yo, what is up, guys? Today we're gonna be doing a vlog, and we just got done shopping at the outlet mall, and we're here with Gigi. Gigi, yeah, and we just pulled up to the Country Mart, and we're gonna go inside, grab some LA, and then eat, and then I don't know, just take it from there. All right. All right. I'll see you guys inside. What? In the you know what? Say hi, Gigi. Hey there. Bro, these look so fire. I can't wait to devour these. We just finished up our meals and we're gonna be looking for some L8 now. Oh, wrong aisle. You said they had it here. You told me we could always run the country mart and get it. Oh, they do. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's not L8, is it? Mm -hmm. They got the old classic bottles, like the Coca-Cola bottles. I don't know. What should I get? Probably the orange. Can I get one original and one orange cream? Yes, you can. Okay. So we just copped the L8. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna go check out. Okay, so we just copped all of our goodies, got all the L8, and yeah, here's all of our bags. I'll open that later, but anyways. Okay, so we're on the side of the freeway. Apparently the truck trunk did not shut, so now we just had to pull over. On the side of the road. What do you think about this, Gigi? Something's not right. What? Yeah, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do in this vlog. I should have started it earlier whenever we were shopping, but I, I guess it is what it is. So, yeah. Here are all the shopping bags from earlier. So I'm gonna like show you guys what I got, I guess, and then take it from there. There goes Gigi. It's lucky W. Morning. Hello. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna be doing like a little montage or something like that, showing you what clothes I got. I think that's the right word. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got for like winter clothing and stuff. I got sweatpants, sweatshirts, and everything like that. And yeah, I guess I'm just gonna try them on. So. Let's get it. So first from Nike, I got this nice little sweatshirt I'm gonna show you, so yeah. All right guys, I just threw it on and I look, you think it's really clean. Like, let me know. It's very, very warm and the material is so nice. So yeah, that's number one. Um, Next, I got this really, really nice pair of sweatpants from Abercrombie and Fitch, and I'm gonna show you those. You know what, just to make this go faster, what if I just like, okay, so low key, these are the nicest sweatpants I've ever owned before. They are so soft, like the pockets are like silk, and I really like the design, it's so clean. 
just has like the Abercrom Abercrombie and Fitch New York City thing. And bro, they're so nice and like they're so warm too, so they're perfect for the winter. So yeah, look at like these. Alright, so next we got American Eagle. I got a really nice pair of jeans and two really nice shirts, and I'm gonna show you both of those. So uh yeah. Okay, so first here are the jeans. They're really nice. Oh. But anyways, yeah. They're looking really nice. They fit it really well. And, uh, yeah. I really like the color of them. It's very nice. Now let me show you what it looks like with the shirt on. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed is how nice and, like, the feeling of wearing the shirt. It's just so, like, soft. And, yeah, you got the American Eagle symbol. And look who you think it looks really clean with the jeans on. Let me know, but yeah, it's tough. Uh, yeah, I look you really like this shirt, but um, yeah, this is definitely gonna be a nice piece to add to the wardrobe, so yeah. Let me show you the other shirt. Okay, so I also noticed with this shirt, it's very, very soft. I love the material of these shirts, and the symbol looks very clean on this one too. And Loki, I don't feel like it goes with the jeans, but what I'm gonna show you next is the khaki pants that I got from Vineyard Vines, and I think that the shirt will go perfectly with the um, pants. But anyways, yeah, it's so cute, very nice shirt. I love it. But yeah, so um, let's get to the pants. Okay, so I really like these khaki pants with the shirt. It lucky goes together, but these khaki pants are a little too big for me right now, and my Grandma's gonna, like, I forget what it's called. It's, like, where you, like, take this right here and, like, put it more up here to make it, like, shorter. Um, it's not pinning. It's not called a pinning. Um, I don't know what it's called, but anyways, she's gonna do that for me to make it look a little, like, shorter until I grow out of them. But, uh, yeah. Um, what's next? Oh, yeah. So next we have Under Armour, and uh, yeah, I got, I think, two hoodies and one jacket for winter, which is, they're actually really nice, so I'm going to take these pants off, put my shorts back on, and put on the hoodies, so yeah, um, I guess I'll cut to that. Okay, so first of all, I got this oversized shirt, I didn't mean to get it like that oversized, but I guess it'll be nice, um, and I really like the design of the shirt. It's looky just simple and clean. And yeah, I don't think there, oh, I don't think there's anything like on the back, but it looky looks really nice. Um, Next, I'm gonna show you a hoodie I got. It's green, it looks really clean. So let me show you that. Okay, so here's the hoodie that I got. It's looky really clean. Um, Just has the, I don't know if you can see that. It has the Under Armour um, and riding out, which I really like. It's not like the symbol or anything. Got the symbol on the sleeve, a nice size hood, and it's looking so comfy. It's like silk on the inside. I don't know if you all can see that, but it's like literally so like soft. But uh, yeah, super clean. Um, I'm gonna show you the jacket that I got now. So um, yeah. Okay, so here's the jacket. It's looking really nice um, and comfy. Like I can already feel myself burning up in it. It'll be really nice for winter. It has a nice hood on it. It's almost like a windbreaker and a like nice warm jacket. But yeah, it's definitely for installation and to keep you warm. And you got one pocket on the side, one pocket on this side. And yeah, it's low key super plain. So this is definitely one of my favorite things that I got today. Here's what it looks like unzipped. Okay, so this is what it looks like unzipped. Don't ask me why I have my shirt tucked in. But anyways, yeah, it's just because of how big my shirt is. But, um, yeah. I low-key love the outfits I chose today. That's about it for what I got. Um, I got my mom an American Eagle gift card. Oh my god, my lips, bro. I gotta take care of that. But anyways, I got my mom an American Eagle gift card for her birthday. Which is tomorrow, so. Let's hope she doesn't see this video. But anyways, guys, I got some really good 
like outfits today and I think I'm gonna rock them all out. So yeah, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go show my family what I got like clothes wise. And yeah, I don't really know why I'm whispering, but yeah, it's just because it's quiet up there. I wonder if they're listening to what I'm saying. But anyways, but anyways, yeah, I might have a workout or something afterwards, so, yeah. Okay, so unfortunately, I can't play background music because the last three long-form videos that I made got copyrighted, and I don't want a copyright strike. So, I'm not gonna be doing that, and yeah, I'm just gonna hit a quirk, quirk, workout, quick, quick workout, quick, 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 quick workout. So I'm just going to do a little bit of calisthenics and things like that and work on some of my skills. But um, yeah, uh, I might fast forward through a couple of things so you don't have to watch the full thing. And this video is already dragging on. Like, why would I make a six minute clothing review? That's so stupid. But anyways, it's over with now if you made it this far. So enjoy the video, I guess. I don't know. Brother, this guy stinks! Oh, I just got cooked. Ouchie. Just because I'm gonna try it again, so yeah. And I haven't been able to work out for like two months because of a, an injury that I'm not gonna go into too much detail about. Um, because it's like about your uh, man parts. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I had to go to the hospital and everything for it. And I have a urologist appointment scheduled and I'm just going to sum it up. So I was in jujitsu and I got my sat on um, and I was in excruciating pain that night. And the two days afterwards, I didn't really feel anything until I went on a run on the third day. And um, I was in excruciating pain, I almost didn't make it home and it was really bad and luckily i made it home and i almost had to go to the hospital that night because it was i was in so much pain and once i sat down and chilled it went away luckily but yeah um then comes a couple of days later the pains it's like achy pain and it just doesn't stop so i scheduled a doctor's appointment they're like hey there's nothing we can do here for you you're gonna have to go to the hospital for it and i was like okay and they prescribed me to go to the emergency room because it's urgent. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? So my mom came and got me from school, texted me, hey, we got to go to the emergency room. I'm like, okay. I was so upset about it. But then I got to get out of school, which is good. They gave me an ultrasound and everything down there. And they figured out that I had a hydro seal in my scrotum, and uh, which is like a thing of fluid from an injury or like impact and um, that I wasn't gonna have to have any surgery or anything like that, which is good, so I got lucky. And um, yeah, uh, basically it's not stopped hurting since. So my mom scheduled me a, an appointment with a urologist, a person that specializes in that because the ER said there's nothing they can do there other than give me ibuprofen and stuff. But yeah, um, on the November 12th, I have a urologist appointment scheduled, so 
let's hope everything goes good there and I don't have to have surgery. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that was just to sum it up real fast. But anyways, guys, be careful whenever you're doing calisthenics because you could always hurt yourself. And yeah, let me just show you what it looks like now. I'm completely fine, YouTube, so you shouldn't have to take this video down or anything like that. But yeah, as you can see, this is completely like scratched up. And yeah, it hurts very, very bad. That's from me scraping myself on this thing right here. Dang. Okay guys, I just finished up my workout and I'm not gonna put the whole thing in the video because I injured myself again. Bro, I'm such an idiot. so uncalled for but anyways i just did like push-ups pull-ups sit-ups stuff like that i didn't really feel like using weights today because i'm being lazy but um yeah i have some homework to get done and my parents are gonna rip my butt if i don't do my homework so yeah i'm gonna take a couple minutes to breathe and then i'll start my homework so yeah cut to that okay guys yeah, so i'm gonna take a little bit of time to finish up some school work. I have two projects to do on Monday. One is a presentation for social studies and the other is an art project that's also due Monday. And so right now I'm working on my art project and here, let me flip the camera and show you. So basically I, it's called a grid project and I have to take this right here, this Superman and make it like 10 times bigger and like upscale the size. So this is what I have so far. I look, you think it looks really good so far, but um, yeah. It's super clean and I'll show you guys what it looks like whenever I decide to be finished or quit, whatever. Okay, so I've been working on it for about 15 minutes now. I don't know if it looks like I've like made any progress, but I definitely have. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs, cook some um, dinner, like eat the rest of those chicken fingers from earlier. And then I'm going to probably make my mom a card and play Fortnite or finish up my project, something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, cut to that. Okay, so my chicken fingers just finished up in the microwave. They look extra delicious. So I'm gonna grab me some barbecue sauce and probably watch um, some Naruto. And yes, my family did put up the Christmas tree and it's freaking like November 2nd or something like that. They're crazy about that. But anyways, yeah. All right, so I actually am choosing to watch The Walking Dead instead. I got myself an L8 if it'll focus and got myself some chicken fingers and things like that. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then yeah, we'll take it from there. Peace out guys. Okay, so I just finished my chicken tenders and things like that. Um, so I think I'm gonna go make my mom a card for her birthday tomorrow and then probably in the vlog there because it's been dragging on long enough and it's dark outside and everything i was gonna do a part where i like play fortnite and stuff but i'm not really sure if that'll happen and i still gotta work on my project so yeah um okay guys so i just finished making my mom the card and i actually got her an american eagle gift card too it has like 50 dollars on it um, nothing crazy, but, um, yeah, I really hope she doesn't see this video because then it would ruin the surprise, but yeah, it's whatever, so, I don't know if it'll focus on that, let's see, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, and I didn't end up finishing my drawing, this is about as far as I made it to, I still have to do the other arms, texture, finish the legs, do the head, and this is my reference, like I said, so gotta put that on there. And I have a whole history project to do, bro. Ain't no way. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end the vlog on that, and I'm gonna go shower and might just chill for the rest of the night. I'm sorry if this vlog has dragged on so long. And this was more of a boring vlog. I lucky thought it was gonna be good, but if you made it through, I don't know how you did it, but you're a real one. And yeah, guys, um, I'm just desperate for content and I need to do something and 
I have a couple of videos planned, but I can't do them until I drive because I, I gotta go to a certain place to do them. And I don't think my parents would drive me just to make a video but about it. But anyways, yeah, I'm saying too much. So I hope you guys have a blessed night. I'm gonna edit this vlog and yeah. Um, peace out guys, I love all of you. If you need anything ever, I'm here. And we can chat, talk, whatever you need. But, yeah. Um, oh, before I go, I do have one last thing I want to do. I know I just drank an L8, bro. But, like, look what I got today. So, my I, I've never had a cherry L8 before, and I'm about to try one for the first time. So, here, I'm going to just give you a review. So, cherry L8. Um, Loki, very clean. Oh my gosh, my hands are... Thing. Oh. Okay. Alright, first taste test. I'm gonna get me a nice little swig. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Whoa. I was not expecting that. It tastes like... I mean, it's good, but it like has like a. It tastes like cough medicine. Um, I like to get a bunch of men together. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, but it's just like I don't know what's what it what's about it, but like, ugh. it's definitely not the best LA flavor. I can tell you that one definitely. The worst flavor, probably. I'm just going to be so for real. This is not a good flavor. Um, it's just like the aftertaste. While drinking it, it's pretty good. But the aftertaste is horrible. So, yeah. I don't even know. But anyways, yeah, guys. Peace out. Love you all. Mm, yo, that was weird. Okay, I'm not doing that again. All right. Love you guys. The Bluetooth device is ready to pal. <laughs> yeah.